today is about repetition. A lot of people train their Taiji, their Bagua, whatever they're practicing, and they practice a set of movements until they get it right. Until they've learned how to actually control that movement correctly. Then they move on to the next thing. Like I've done that before, what's next? That would be like learning how to do a posture, uh, say a push-up. It would be like learning how to do a push-up correctly. Getting the form correct, getting the right body movement, the correct structure of the spine and so on. And once you've learned it, you move on to the next exercise. But of course, we know that with muscle building exercises, it's pretty pointless. So what do we do? We learn how to do the push-up. And then, once we know how to do it, we practice it forevermore. We practice them every day, pumping out 50 push-ups in a row to get that muscular development in the movement. So, there's no difference. What are we doing here? We're training our muscles, training connectivity all throughout the body. And I'm shifting forward. I've got my repetition going, but I'm going like this and I think I'm out of frame. So, what should we do about it? Take a posture like I'm doing now. And just do it over and over until you're literally exhausted. Do that posture until you're exhausted. And then take another posture. Take the next, maybe just, I don't know, the next section because it's one side and you could do what? No, you could do both sides. Take the next posture to form. Do it both sides. Like so. Um, then take the next posture, do that both sides. So we go, what we go here, we do our double strike, bang, bang, come down block, bang, bang, you see? Keep it going like that. Get your cardio working as well. But basically it's muscular development through repetition. Everything, your slow forms as well, when you're doing your slow forms. Don't just do this step once, oh yeah, I've got it now, okay, I'll, I'll do the rest of the form. You need to do that regularly while you're learning. Until you've got it absolutely perfect. But even once it's perfect, every time you do a posture, you learn more about that posture. You keep developing the muscles in your body. So, yeah, with any forms you're practicing, your small sound sound, for example, get it to the point where you can do it. Once you understand the movements, You've now reached the level where you're actually able to practice the movement. That's where you start learning something. When you're sitting here, you know, figuring out where to put your weight, how to balance, this kind of thing, you're not actually learning what the small sound sound has to teach you. You're learning the small sound sound. Once you've learnt the small sound sound, you then practice the small sound sound every day, and then the small sound sound done correctly teaches you all the principles and concepts of self-defense and fighting that it's supposed to teach you. And that rule applies to every single form and training exercise that we do. You sit there learning push hands, where do I put my hand, how do I tuck my bum, where do I push, all of that stuff. That's learning push hands. Once you've learnt it, then you do push hands. And the push hands teaches you what push hands should teach you. And that's what we always say, as a teacher, I teach you the small sense out. But the small sense out, through repetition, constant practice, is the thing that teaches you how to fight and how to protect yourself. The slow form, I teach you the form, how to step, where to put your hands, and so on. But it's the form that teaches you about your internal chi and how to flow through the body. So that's the tip of the day. Hope you enjoyed that. Now get out there, take the form, just right now. Five seconds it takes you. Take any posture that you already know. Say the first move of the small sound sound. If you don't do that, I don't know, maybe you do the bagua circular form. Don't do the rest, just do that. Do it again. Do it again. Do it both sides, of course. 
Just alternate left and right, left and right constantly. Always go back and forth. Don't just do 10 on one side. Try to go one side, the other side, one side, the other side. But just pick something. Right now, get up wherever you're doing. You might be sitting at your desk or sitting, I don't know, you're at a train station or something. Just get up and start doing some repetition until you're puffing. So, yeah, that's your tip of the day.